With us now is Ron Tucker. As you know, he is the president of the Buford Film Society, which puts on the in Buford International Film Festival, which will be coming up again in February of 2022. Ron, it's good to see you again, my friend. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's dive right in. The film industry, the, the both the independent films, the indie films, and the films backed by major uh, studios in Hollywood, the whole industry has been just uprooted because of COVID, right? Uh, it has been uprooted, uh, turned upside down, uh, all kinds of ways. And, uh, and I think the industry has adapted pretty well uh, to the concerns of, of uh, public health and, and, uh, and safety in general, uh, and, and have pretty much adapted uh, in a positive way to deal with it. Um, the industry is, is, is back up and running, it looks like. Uh, the theaters are starting to open up again. Uh, people are starting to get more comfortable with going back to the theater because you cannot change that in-person at the theater experience. It's just not the same. And with Christmas coming up, um, a lot of people don't know that Christmas Day is one of the biggest box office days in the industry right. uh, so and last year not so much uh, but this year i think uh, people are going to see some really positive changes um, in the protocol experience because the theater does have a protocol for covid right. uh, but at the same time that experience is pretty much the same well, and you all with the um, Buford Film Society and the Film Festival, you have really, you see, the, in, in 2020, you had the Film Festival in person right before COVID really hit. And then last year, or this year in 2021, you also had the Film Festival, but with limited seating and all of that. So you have survived and we're looking forward to 2022. So kind of give us the, the layout of the land. Well, uh, yeah, that's a good point because in 2020, uh, we were one of the last film festivals in the country, maybe even the world, to have an in-person film festival. We finished the end of February, and by the middle of March, the industry had closed down pretty much, and the world had pretty much closed down. Um, and then a year goes by, and little did we think that a year later we would even be dealing with COVID, but we were. Um, and uh, a lot of film festivals, uh, many film festivals, had gone to uh, a digital or, or a, uh, a virtual screening of films, which in our case, we didn't feel that worked because we're a tourism kind of festival where we want to put heads in beds. We want people to come and we felt like we were far enough along with, with COVID safety protocol that we could initiate a safe environment for that. So we did. So we were one of the first in the country to have an in-person festival in 2021. And after that, a lot of festivals actually contacted us to see how we did it. Mm -hmm. um, and we told them we were probably one of the safest places to be <laughs> uh, because we took the temperatures at the door. We had uh, strict code of <clears throat> protocol for masking, social distancing. We social distanced the chairs. We did a lot of things just to give people that experience that they were longing for. And we still have people from 24 states attend the festival. Uh, so we were happy with the end result. Granted, the, the total attendance was down. Mm -hmm. And as we're going for this year, we're almost back to normal. Uh, we're probably going to be about 80 to 90% capacity from what we were in 2020. Um, so we're planning full steam ahead to, to have a, an in-person festival and make, it'll still make it as safe as possible. And what are the dates for the uh, 16th annual film festival? February 22nd to the 27th. That's a Tuesday opening ceremony and a closing ceremony on Sunday. All right. And can we go ahead and, and buy tickets now or is, do we need to wait? Well, we can't buy tickets yet. Uh, we will hopefully announce the finalists on December 15th. Okay. And if that goes according to plan, uh, then the tickets will be available at that time. Okay. Uh, we don't know the schedule yet, so that's why you can't purchase tickets yet. <laughs> right. All right, Ron Tucker, happy holidays to you. Good to see you. Thank you for everything you do with the Film, F Film Society in Buford, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. You too.
Coming up after the break, Catherine Gill from FWDG will be with us to talk about the coat drive. Don't go away. <laughs> 